Hi, I'm Al Gag. Behind me is the Stan Gibbs Memorial, which is located in the legendary Cape Cod Canal. Many great fishermen have passed through here, like Bob Pond, Stan Gibbs, of course, the Stetskos, and many, many other. And tonight, our video is going to feature Captain Joey Leggio, myself, and pro staffer Russ DeMauro and Clayton Borowski fishing this legendary place. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Today on Chase and Tail TV, we're going to be fishing the legendary Cape Cod Canal with our good friends Al. We got Clay, we got Russ. We're going to be going for big striped bass, right? Big striped bass. Uh, they've been getting them on a, uh, a night bite and a morning bite, but uh, we're going to try for some both times, uh, tonight and then uh, tomorrow morning. And of course we have our two Sharpies. The, these are the guys that do it. I, I just make the lures to catch them, and these guys do the work. Let's hope. Let's hope. Yeah. Well, tell me about it. What are we going to do tonight? All right. What we what we got going tonight? We've we've had a we've had a very good bite in the canal for the last several days. Um, the bite's been pretty much centered on the what we call the west tide, huh? um, tide running from Cape Cod Bay to Buzzards Bay. We call it the west tide. And it's been a very good bite over the last uh, three or four days much more so than the, uh, than the morning bite. So we're gonna concentrate on a section of the canal tonight where the bite's been good. Uh, we've got a tide that uh, turns west at, uh, <coughs> I believe it's 10 o'clock tonight. Yep, right, Russ? Yeah, that's 10, correct. 10 o'clock tonight. So we're gonna, our primary fishing is gonna be probably uh, an hour to an hour and a half after the turn is okay. when the bite should really turn on. And from there, we should have several good hours of fishing. As long as the fish cooperate, we, you never know about that, the fish, that's right? right. That, that's true. <laughs> yeah, we that's we can correct. plan the best we can, but it's all it's all to the fish. Yeah, so the fish. Like Clay Absolutely. says, it's, it's been good lately, um, mm -hmm. so that's why we're gonna try it tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Now you're saying the west tide is that because it's it's pushing bait out? Like what's causing these fish to bite at that tide right now? Well, the, the, it, what's happening is that the tide is again it's it's moving from the bay, okay, okay and it's, Cape it's going bay. down. This, Cape we're, bay. We're, okay. we're essentially hitting a high tide and the tide is draining out of Cape Cod Bay and it's running down into, into Buzzards Bay. So the yeah. tide will be consistently going from high to low tonight. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a low at, I believe, four o'clock in the morning. Okay. So there's your six hour window from 10 to four. Um, typically, uh, it, it, we've got an extreme uh, moon tide tonight, mm -hmm. which means we're gonna have extremely hard currents. Uh, we're gonna probably start with three ounces, and then as the tide gets progressively faster, you're gonna to have to switch over to a four, even a five if you have it. Okay. Once the tide gets too, <coughs> too hard to fish where you can't consistently feel bottom, we may take a break at that point and wait for it to slow down a little bit right. where we can consistently hit the bottom again. And that's when, you, when you're gonna catch your fish. And what I'm doing is I'm feeling for the bottom. I'm waiting for that lure to actually hit the bottom up there. Um, you start the reel. Well, he's taking drag. I got him coming back. Four ounce gags, whip it, fish. Nice. The fish have been running pretty large. Where um, the reports from the guys are telling me that these fish are all in the mid 30s to mid 40 inch range. Nice some, fish, some yeah, very bigger. Nice. Yeah, we're talking, mm -hmm. uh, you know, some good fish, 30, 40 pound fish. Oh, wow. uh, last night, one of my buddies was there. He got uh, 13 last night, up to 40, uh, 35 pounds. Wow, that'd be great. I'll take that today. All, all, <laughs> all of Mr. Al Gags whip it in the green, green that's, mac, that's three and wow. four ounce. So. And that is what we're doing. It's gonna be no bait, strictly lures. Yeah, these all are strictly lure lures. Uh, yeah. Again, a, a night bite. You're not gonna be. Uh, casting with, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, topwater lures or anything. This is all strictly jig fishing tonight. Uh, these fish are going to be down, uh, and that's been uh, the uh, the way these guys have been banging them the last three or four nights. It's all jig fishing, uh, you know, deep. You got to you got to super glue the top. Otherwise, if you don't, these ten, these will these will pull it'll back. Start after, yeah, it'll, it'll slide. So what we do is we super glue them and use the gel. Okay. Just put a little. 
And you can just regular super glue, you could buy at any hobby store or Home Depot. Yeah, whatever. you can use any oh, kind of super glue. Okay. We, we, I use Loctite for gel control because it's uh -huh. a lot easier to work with. Put a little on there. And I'll keep it tight to the body. Yeah, you know, and you just take take this and you go and press it to that and hold it for, you know, 20 seconds or something. Mm -hmm. This is the tack of the Langless clip we'll be using tonight. And it's going to basically take our lure and just pop right on the clip and slide it down. And that's it. And that's the whippet fish that we'll be using tonight. And this is in the green mackerel color. What we're hoping is some of these fish that have been stacking up in Cape Cod Bay mm. for the fall migration will, on this extreme tide, will get pushed through tonight. Okay. Yes. And like say it's the full moon. E exactly. There's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of bait in the, in yeah, the canal, right? Yeah. Russell, yeah there's yeah. been a lot of peanut bunker in the sure. bay in the uh, canal. Mm -hmm. Real thick, and uh, everything is lining up. It should work. And your baits actually replicate the peanut bunker perfectly. Well, the peanut bunker, uh, peanut, yeah, peanut, bunker. <laughs> peanut bunker. We like peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter yeah. works too. At <laughs> times, you know, you know, stuff like that. But let's talk a little bit about uh, about tackle you use. Uh, the kind of equipment you should have. Yeah. You know, you well, um, well I, I run 50 pound braid, uh, mm -hmm. usually with a 50 pound mono leader. Yeah. Um, the leader's usually uh, 28 to 30 inches long, and I use, what are those clips, Clay? The, uh, what's tackle it called? Clips. Clips. Quick clips. Yes, yeah. 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 I use them, I don't know the name of them. Yeah, but, tackle yeah. Right. <laughs> quick clips, yeah. Yeah, quick clips, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's our basic setup, and uh, we use that for jigging top water. Mm -hmm. yeah. Minim minimum line weight you want to use in braid is 40 pounds. That, that, should, 40. that should be a minimum. Now, for should... the lure, like the whippet fish itself, um, you're fishing out a bunch of different ways. I see you guys jigging, snapping it, or you're steady retrieving it. What dictates to you how to fish that lure? Current has a lot to do with it. Yeah, it does, uh, it does. Yeah, I mean, if, you're, if you've got a pretty strong current and you're casting straight out, okay, and you're not hitting bottom, and you can't feel bottom, well, mm. you've you got to start up further. You got to, instead of casting out at 12 o'clock, you've got to basically start maybe at 11 and try that. And you want to make sure that you're going to feel the bottom. So when you're casting out, you're letting out line, and you, you know, let's say you, you say you, you crank your, your reel over, you want to make sure that you you actually feel the bottom. Okay. If you if you don't feel the bottom, you either got to let more line out or reel it in, start over again. Yeah. Maybe go to a start heavier up. lure if you're using a three. Go to a four. The critical thing here when when you're jigging, especially in the canal, <clears throat> you got to be near on or near the bottom. If yeah, you're yeah. not on or near the bottom, and you don't from time to time feel the bottom. You're not going to catch fish. Ideally, here. you want to be bouncing that jig along the bottom of the canal. Okay. What about well, getting hung without up? Getting, without getting hung up. It's, right, it's tricky. There's, there's rock yeah. structure. You've got to get yes. And up. with the whippet fish, the whippet fish, the whippet fish is great because it swims by itself. So mm -hmm. you can actually cast that lure out, hit the bottom, crank your reel over, and start reeling it from that point on. And you're going to be, you're going to be pretty near the bottom. You're going to be in the strike zone. Right. At that point, and that's basically all you do: real slow, bass don't like a very fast moving mm -hmm. lure. Let the current work for you. Make a sweep. Let it sweep itself. Okay. Yeah, wanna, and a lot of these fish, you got to catch very close to shore. You're not going to be. That's right. You're not going to be getting your fish out. Uh, you know, 100 yards out. They're going to be. A lot of these fish are only 25, 30 yards for shore. That's or even right. Sorry, not so crazy with the And also, bed, the yeah. shape of the head has a lot to do with as far <clears> as getting hung up. It has a blunt head pretty much mm -hmm. so oh, no, yeah. um, there are other yeah. laws that have more of a pointed mm -hmm. uh, head on it which tend to yeah, like the bullet heads yes yeah, so they get the, not the bullet head but the um, like a savage it has okay. a very pointy uh, head it tends to get caught in the rocks yeah. easier than a whippet fish does you'll, uh -huh. you'll get hung up from time to time yeah but, uh, everybody you, does yeah right. and you can't help it when you're jigging the bottom but uh, sure. typically uh, you're not losing a lot of lures by like you said the, the design of the of the whippet fish right. So when you cast out at 10, you got the bill open, you're, you're holding, you're holding, you're holding, you feel it. Boom. Well, I'm not holding and holding. What I'm doing is I'm, ca I'm ca let's say I'm, I'm starting at, uh, let, let's say, 11 o'clock. Yeah. Current's okay. going from left to right. Right. Yeah. And I'm casting out, I'm letting out, I'm letting out my line, you know, counting five, six, seven, whatever, okay, till I feel that lure actually oh. hit, hit the bottom. <clears throat> right. Then I crank, and then I start from the either jigging, slow jigging, so I'm actually, like he said, bouncing mm -hmm. the bottom or I'm actually slowly reeling the lures, and I know that having hit bottom over here, I'm in the strike zone. I may be a foot, maybe two off the bottom at most, and it's drifting along, and it's running into the, and yeah. a lot of times the strike zone is right here, like 
two or three o'clock, exactly. even four o'clock, yeah. right, yeah. right parallel to the shoreline. Wow. It's, it's, it's very it's surprising. So when we're wound up, we got to either be in sync or we're going to have problems. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight to the Demaro Residence. Uh, this is a crowd of people that we fish with regularly. We have some bait shop owners. We have some club members. We have some other pro staffers as well as the Al Gag pro staffers here today. I really can't thank you enough for being part of our lives and our family. And most of all, Mr. Gag, our lore maker and our macha. <laughs> thank you for being here today and chasing tail TV. Joey and Ralph, thank you for being here. Let's party. Yeah. <laughs>